guys welcome back to my channel and I was just going to show you something real quick I may do a couple videos today because I'm really um, looking forward to getting back into my um, quote unquote December daily which has turned out not to be a December daily so we're just going to call it my December junk journal but so I've been working on a gift for a friend today and in between letting glue dry um, I decided that I was hello. I decided that I was going to um, organize my magazine scraps. So I found this really cute binder at Walmart for super cheap. It's just a three ring binder, and then they make uh, page protectors for it. Um, so of course I like Shannon Green's file folders especially since her file folders are so pretty. But I really have a relatively small stash um, still. Um, so I don't, um, I have a few folders just because I had some really big um, pieces. So this binder is nine by seven. And they sell, they sell it in the stationary section, like over where their planners and stuff are. Um, which, for those of you that didn't know, Walmart sells Happy Planners now, which I thought was interesting. Um, of course, it was tempting, but you can still get it cheaper at uh, Michael's with a coupon. And I will probably go to Michael's later today, because after 3 p.m., it's 20% off your entire purchase. And they also have some stuff on sale that I've kind of been wanting to play with. So I was wanting to get a set of those Tombow dual tip brush pens. Uh, mainly because I have a, a large set of alcohol markers. Um, my husband, not last year, but the year before, got me the the chameleon alcohol markers, which they're pretty cool because they're you can blend them. Um, they have like this blending tip built in, which of course you know it's a fad thing. I thought it was super cool, and it's not bad as far as alcohol markers go. I think they're they're they work pretty good. Um, the blending, the, um, the way that you, uh, lighten the color with the blending tip is kind of, I mean, I, it's kind of ingenious, but it's kind of a pain in the butt at the same time. So for anybody that hasn't used these or hasn't heard of them and you want me to like do a small demo, I can do that at some point. Just let me know in the comments. Um, but anyway, I don't have any water-based, uh, markers, so... I was hoping to grab at least a pack or two of those because they're on sale for $12.99 $12 and then it would be 20% off of that. So, But I just wanted to show you real quick what I did with my magazine clippings and I think I'm going to make a uh, little tags. I've got a round punch and I think I'm just going to punch out round little tags that kind of stick out a little bit and just staple them to one side of the page protector. This was a pretty cheap way for me to at least kind of get them organized so that when I'm looking for faces, I've got small faces, medium faces, large faces um, in here. And then I've got eyes and we've got lips. I love these lips. I've had these for a while and um, I just had all my magazine clippings in a box. So it was kind of hard to dig through everything, especially since most of what I have is words and letters that I've cut out. So I wanted to kind of organize them a little bit. I've got some legs. I've got, um, these are, I would call them busts, I guess. Um, not quite full body, but more than just faces um, in here. And then I thought this was cute. I had cut him out apparently at some point. Got some flowers there, just some other little pieces of stuff. Um, most of the magazines that I've been able to get a hold of have just been people that I used to work with. I asked for them to bring me their old magazines. My best friend would save a stack for me. So I don't have a lot. I love that. I, don't, I really don't, I'm gonna move these over to my little floral section and that too. So I don't have a lot. I love this floral skull. Um, and I'm going to move that over to floral. I'm not going to move the skull to floral because it's more of a skull than it is floral. So 
Um, I really want to, after Christmas is over, because I really want to focus on my Christmas journal and getting a lot of my Christmas stuff used up, because I've got some old stickers and stuff that I just don't really love that much. So I want to get that December um, junk journal done, and I'm trying real hard to stay in frame here, sorry. Um, I'm still, it's kind of, now I have my camera mounted kind of on a shelf above me and it's being held there by a couple of my traveler's notebooks. So it gets the good overhead shot. I guess I could zoom in a little more. I wonder if I can do that with this button. Nope, I can't. Oh, so anyway, I was going to zoom in a little bit. There we go. I should have done that before I started videoing, but so here's my words. I've got um, several pages, two, three, four, five pages of words and phrases, and then I've got full bodies here. I don't have very many of those, but I have a couple. I thought this was pretty, um, I don't quite know if it would be a background. I think, I think I'm considering this a background. Um, here's kind of like some floral clippings. I've got pets, so I've got some kitties, and I think there's a puppy in there. Maybe these are all kitties. These might all be kitties. There's something back here. Oh, that's a kitty too. They are all kitties. So, um... Anyway, I want to do some, definitely want to get back into doing some collage. I've really been inspired uh, today while I was doing this. I was watching Lori Marie, and I just love her collage. Um, so I'd like to get back into doing some of that again. And these are some strips I cut out of a, it's a jewelry, one of those jewelry club catalogs. Um, Pirate, no, it's not pirate. What's it called? Plunder. <laughs> pirate. Pirate's plunder. Um, so these were like borders around some of the pages, and I just thought they were really pretty, so I saved those. But I bought three packages of page protectors, and I think 15 were in a package, and they were like $1.97 or something ridiculous like that. So um, I was pretty happy with that. For now, that's going to work for me. And then I just have a couple of file folders. I have three. Here's some really big um, phrases. And then I've got a lot of big backgrounds that I had cut out or saved. A lot of florals in here. I like that. Um, so a lot of these florals are out of, and I, I found, had found one of these. I think it was at, when we were moving my dad in with us and we were going through stuff at home. I found a couple of those, but my mom used to get those ideals magazines that have the real nice thick paper in them. Um, and so a lot of these floral scenes are from there. I have a box full of them that I have not harvested yet. Some of them I may just kind of leave intact and then use those as the journals and kind of uh, reverse collage on them. I've seen, I think, uh, Shannon Green's done some of that. Maybe Barb Owen has done some of the reverse collage. Um, so I think that would be fun to try too. Um, but yeah, this is just some bigger background type stuff. So all too big for the binder, which is fine. Um, I will be able to put all of this stuff kind of on one little shelf in my storage uh, cube. I've got a storage cube that I can use. And then these are like really big faces and bodies um, that wouldn't fit in there either. So I just love this skirt. I don't know why. I just do. Um, like I thought this was cool. Um, so yeah. So I found some really cool stuff. And so I've got my, my tote cleaned out, which is good because now everything's kind of organized and I know where to go look for things. So I was, um, I got that organized kind of while I was waiting for some Mod Podge and glue to dry on the project I was making for my friend. So that will help that. And I think this is probably dry enough now that I can show you. I thought about doing, I kind of wanted to make a video of me making this, but, um, it took 
took several days. I worked on it quite a bit Friday night. I didn't get much done on it yesterday, but most of this I did Friday night up until the wee hours of the morning, and I'm still not secure enough um, trying to do, like, you know, a brand new, nothing, you know, never done before a project out of pulling it out of my rear on video. I don't have that much confidence yet. So, um, this is for my four, not fur, this is for, this is for my longtime um, best friend from high school, and she really only lives like 30 minutes away, but we just, we don't see each other much. Um, she has a lot of um, health issues that um, keep her close to home, and she has a service dog, and so um, she loves her, her dog, and he's adorable, and he's her second one that she's had. And um, so I decided to try to take the time and make her a little flip book um, of him. So I just found this out of from a greeting card and cut it out. Um, I'm probably going to do something else to this. I just did a few scrap papers as a collage and then put him on pop-up thingies. But I think at least I can ink the edges, <sighs> maybe put some more around the outside. It's kind of plain, but what I just ended up deciding to do was do a flip. Um, and so it, I mean, it turned out okay, I guess. Um, it's, you know, so it's glued to this side and then, and this was the side that I was still waiting to dry. I used Aileen's. So I'd had, um, when I did this one, I just had the pictures closed and then put my heavy bottle of gesso on top of it, but I didn't want to put anything heavy on top of puppy dog. So maybe I should have waited to decorate that till the end. But anyway, um, I went and got into her, <laughs> scoured her Facebook and her Instagram. And luckily, I don't think she knows I have a YouTube channel yet. So um, not that she would want to watch arts and crafts. I don't know. But so if she shouldn't see this before it gets given to her or sent to her. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to try to drive up there this week and drop it off. I also have a Christmas card for her parents who were like my second family when um, I was in high school as well. So they're just pictures of her dog all secured together with this uh, ribbon that's glued on the back. Um, I know you've probably seen this technique. A couple of people have done it with the Altoid tins. You know, they've made kind of like a, a picture chain so this is just pictures of her dog and I didn't really want to get her in, in video in case somebody sees it and goes, oh, you're on YouTube everywhere. Um, anybody that would happen to run across this that has sees the dog would know who it is anyway. And then so that's the, the uh, back of this one. And there we go. It goes like that. And so I was going to do, and of course... <laughs> Of course, me not, not paying attention put the Merry Christmas upside down, but that's okay. It kind of happened back here, too, because I meant for, um, I didn't know, I didn't really want this to be the back back, and so I think that's why I ended up sticking the extra piece in here, but um, I'm going to do something else with, with this, too. I basically just uh, Mod Podge down underpants and then went around them with an X-Acto knife. I still need lots of practice with X-Acto knives for some reason. I'm just... I'm either cutting into the to the to the cardboard or the stuff I don't want to cut into, or um, it's just not cutting the paper well. And I think I just need to slow down and just go over it lightly several times. I also noticed if I moved my fingers down closer to the blade, I had more control. It's just something that that I'm not good at. That I direct kitty, leave it alone. So I probably just need to practice more. But this one actually turned out really good. I slowed down and then the couple of edges that I had that were kind of screwy, I bought this I bought this sanding block from Lowe's because um, I was going to use it for the RV project. I was thinking about sanding off some of the white paint to kind of have the cardboard show through in places. But I didn't even end up doing that with it. But it worked great to kind of smooth some of these edges. So I'll probably ink this too and then maybe find some kind of a focal point to put here. And then this was the last page. Um, I put some felt down 
kind of looks like snow and some red felt here and paint, of course, and a little bit of collage. And um, I, I wrote, he's a looker. Um, I, I wanted to write... I wanted to see how well that alcohol markers would write on vellum so it didn't have to dry very long and it didn't smear and my writing is terrible but something else I'd like to get better at. So she had this picture of him in these great big silly glasses so I've got you know some collage of glasses back here and um, you can kind of see some of the words and stuff through here which I like. I like that. And then this is the back page. Um, just some old die cuts and a sticker that says a holly jolly Christmas. So I just wanted to show you that. Um, again, I mean, hopefully I'll get a little more brave and start posting um, the actual process of me making stuff like this. Um, but yeah, I'm not ready for that yet. I don't think anybody wants to sit there and watch me. It would be a lot of clipping out parts where I'm sitting there going, uh... What do I do next? So, um, yeah, I mean, it, so, oh, and I also made some tags for it. Um, when I secure it all together, I can't decide yet if I'm going to use the metal ring or if I'm just going to use some twine and fibers. Um, and his name's Webster. She calls him Webby. And so I made some tags. Um, this was like a clothing tag. And I think this, this was too. It was something. Anyway, oh, this was just paper, cardstock. So I'm going to put that on the front as well and probably, um, you know, I'll run my fiber or whatever through that. I think I'm just going to secure this with fibers and not the metal ring. Um, of course, you know, this stuff isn't always going to, these pictures aren't always going to stack back up perfectly, which is fine. It's as long as they're glued on well, I'm not worried about it. So, so that was the project that I made for her. Um, and of course I want to get back into doing my, um, journal. So hopefully t today's Sunday. So, um, I've got the lawn laundry almost finished up for the weekend and hopefully I can get on a little bit later and make another video working in my, uh, December junk journal glue book, not daily because I've skipped so many days. It's not even funny. Um, but got to go back to work tomorrow. Oh, we got back from our trip from Vegas and for the first time in my life ever, I got a jury summons and it's for New Year's Eve. I'm like, really? There's a special kind of heck, <laughs> you know, the place down under. There's a special kind of that place for, <laughs> for people that have to go sit through jur jury selection on New Year's Eve. So... Um, probably would have got off work early that day. Um, probably not going to happen now. Although I guess I could get sent home early if I don't get selected. And I guess the great thing about working for um, a public sector organization here is that the, the city and the county courthouse and the city hall building, um, which I work at city hall, I used to work at the county and I just recently this year moved over to the city uh, for, for a better position. But so we're right across the street from each other. So um, I'm not far away from from my office or anything like that. So it's kind of nice. But um, I don't. I'm probably not going to waste your time. You know, making. I'm just going to take a round punch, which I have. You know, I have like a one inch round punch, and I'm going to just punch out out of scrap paper that I've got. And I'm just going to make little, you know, tags that say faces and face. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, and anyway, make tags for everything. That way I can just flip and I'm going to leave them like stick out a little bit so that I can just quickly flip to eyes if I want some eyes or, or whatever words. Um, so I'll probably do that later as well. So a lot of, a lot of what I do is organizing <laughs> while I'm in here, especially when I'm waiting for glue to dry. So anyway, um, that's it. Just a short little, Hey, what's up? Um, video. And like I said, hopefully maybe I'll be able to, to come in here later and work on my wonderful, um, December journal that I've been, that I made. Um, I think this background is super pretty, but I think I'd like to add a focal point to it maybe. 
So the bad thing is our printer is low on yellow toner, so I really can't print anything out right now, um, which I have tons of stuff to print. So um, I saved some envelopes from some Christmas cards that we received. And the only other thing I'd really done in here was glued down like a to-do list that I had because I had so much stuff going on, um, prepping for the kids' birthdays and stuff like that. But um, other than that, I haven't really done anything in here at all. So um, I might get these pages gessoed and then maybe come back and spend at least a little bit with you guys later um, working in that and getting some more pages done. I'd like to Probably won't fill it up, I'm guessing, um, this month because I put way more pages in it than I needed. But I've got quite a bit of stuff that I can put in there. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm yakky. So thanks for watching. And if you like the video, please uh, hit like down below. I'd appreciate it. And if you want to come hang out with me more often, hit subscribe so you can get alerts to when I post videos. And thanks. Have a great day.